That's actually Call of Duty, but um, yeah, I was pretty shocked that Oakland quitting. Now it's just Rachel Maddow. Rachel Maddow. Maddow. Rachel Maddow is really hot to me. I don't. I don't. I guess I do know why. I, I like lesbians, but uh, <laughs> she's. I like. I like intelligence too. But the fact that Keith Olbermann is quitting is. Dang. If it is Comcast's fault, then. Dang. And Fox News, like, wow. I remember when I first started hearing Fox News had a higher ratings than MSNBC. And I realized that uh, you actually have to pay extra. And Comcast. Oh, wow. It just hit me. In, uh, if you have Comcast digital cable, if you have the regular cable, you don't get MSNBC. You have to pay extra to get MSNBC. So, like, if you're going down, it goes, like, 64, and it goes, like, straight 66. 60, you can't get 65 unless you pay extra. So it's kind of whack. I mean, obviously, you know, Comcast doesn't like MSNBC. And, I mean, there's a lot of messed up whack stuff about it. Like, I went to uh, jail a few months ago. And they held me in there. Well, it was jail, but it was like a little bit of a prison. Like they threw me in solitude confinement for five days because I was talking shit to the guards and they wouldn't let me get my phone call. I have a lot of beef about that, but not really because, you know, I got all my charges dropped in. Now I can uh, get my license back without having to wait like five years. So, no, it's not that bad. But, um, yeah, the whole fucking thing in Comcast, it's, it's all messed up. And the point is going to come out come about with or say about me being in jail the only news channels you had was Fox News and the thing is is if you watch Fox News you're completely surrounded by it. you're just like Fox News Fox News Fox News okay that's the truth Fox News because everybody else has to be lying CNN you know CNN is way liberal you know like CNN is probably the most liberal oh MSNBC oh my god they're just a bunch of pot smoking hippies like no, they just tell you the truth, and literally, like, if you watch MSNBC, whenever they make a mistake, they correct it. Fox News, they'll make a mistake on purpose and just let it go by. And if someone else calls them out, it's like, we don't care. Besides, like, John Stewart and Colbert, like, those are the only two people that Fox News will actually come out with a response to something they messed up. They'll come out like, uh, oh, crap, John Stewart's on our back? Ah, oh, fuck. Now, uh, now we gotta come out the correction, but MSNBC, CNN, as the CNN really didn't do too much work of like checking Fox News, you know, and it's kind of it's kind of like you know our checks and balances, you know, for our government. You know, you have the legislative branch, the executive, and the I forget the other branch. I'm a little drunk. Anyways, we should have that with news channels. Like Fox News is like. I don't know. I don't know how to come up with an example besides, like, Fox News is, like, the average kid with intelligence who could be in regular classes, but chooses to be in the special ed classes because it's easy. And because it's easy, you know, they always get good grades, and everybody's like, wow, you're really smart. No, because everybody else around you has a lower, you know, perception or understanding or IQ. But I'm not saying anything against people in the special ed classes. I used to be considered slow for a long time. I was, like, three reading grades behind it, uh, uh, one year. I brought it up in another year. You know why? Because I didn't fucking puss out. I was in normal classes ever since then, or higher classes. But that's because I tried. Now, Fox News just doesn't try to report any news because they have their agenda. And the, the worst part about it is now when you say that, like, Fox News and the Republican Party have so owned the word agenda. Like, when you ever think of agenda, you're like, the liberal agenda. What about the conservative agenda? And the thing is, conservative agenda doesn't even sound that bad. Like, liberal agenda is like, oh my god. Are they using lubricant? Like, you know, it's just a, it's just a thought like the liberal agenda. The conservative agenda is like, yeah. I could have three slices of pizza, but I think I'm going to have two. Like, that, that, that's what conservative agenda has for connotations. And I'll give this to uh, Republicans and the... Republican machine, so on and so forth, they know how to frame anything. Like, the death panels, it was just end-of-life counseling, you know? Death panels, end-of-life counseling, that's four words. You could have said, 
your last wishes. You know, like that that really could have been they could have framed it better. But Democrats are always trying to explain something like American people are, you know, actually intelligent, actually do research. They don't. They just watch the news channel like death panels, blah, blah, blah. Go to the work tomorrow. Man, I can't believe about Obamacare. He has death panels in it. Like what? And then seriously, like, like healthcare hasn't been, you know, trying to get passed for the last like two decades. Actually, longer than that, like, better healthcare has been trying to get passed ever since Nixon brought in this new form of healthcare. I mean, it's not healthcare. It's like, is I don't even know. I'm usually better at analogies, but our healthcare system has just been bullcrap for years on top of years. No one cares. I mean, and the thing is, I guess people just want something to be mad at. And they are not actually mad at the people they should be mad at, like the super, super rich, like... In 19, I think it was 1998, they did a census. The top 20% of Americans held 83% of America's overall wealth. 83%, top 20%. I don't think I know one person in the top 20%. I mean, my dad's pretty high up there, but he probably like maybe like 75. But he's not, I don't think he's in the top 20. I mean, my dad's very much so well off, like a Harvard Law School graduate. But still, I don't think he's in the top 20%. But this was the 1998. Top 20% held 83% of America's wealth. And with all the bonuses and stuff that Wall Street be giving out, like, I'm sure that number has been skewed incredibly. But just in 1998, like, how old was I? I was 9 years old in 1998. I was even 10 in 1998. And the top 20% held 83% of the wealth. That means 17% of the wealth has to be fought over by 80% of Americans. 80% of the Americans fighting over 17% of the wealth. Think if you had 17% of the overall food for 80% of the population. I mean, 17% of the food for the 80% of the population. We would look like Ethiopia. But the trick is, is they have TV and it keeps Americans comfortable and people live off credit cards and do a whole bunch of other bull crap and they're discontent, and they just like being mad at stuff, you know, like America's like, ah, my life sucks, taxes, uh, I, I can't stand taxes, but my job sucks, I can't make any money, you know, no one's hiring, this and that and the other, and then look at the people who really made this country the way it is, you know, if there's one day the bottom 80% was like, you know what, screw the top 20%, we outnumber them 4 to 1, you know, maybe we should do something, but no. They want to get mad and be like, yeah. I see, I, I think that's what they want. The people actually want a revolution. But the worst part about it, the people who are trying to fight for this revolution the hardest are the people who are watching the news channel to which the revolution is literally trying to prevent. Not only prevent, but safeguard the people that there needs to be a revolution against. Now, I'm not somebody saying, like, oh, we need to, you know, go and overthrow the government because I don't believe that would help. You know, there's a lot of anarchists that say, you know, we could, we could have a true libertarian society. You know, we can't get along or together now. And to think that, you know, having an anarchist society or a libertarian society would work. No, too many people are too fucking used to just being like, you have to pry this gun from my cold dead hands. You know, they're, they're too connected with that and they're too in touch with that. That's, that's their culture that they think is, you know, a positive culture. Like, this is not culture. You know, like, you know... Rednecks and fucking, t my grandpa's from Texas, by the way, but, uh, like, rednecks from Texas, you know, like, you know what, fuck them niggers, you know, like, those people, they will say nigger every fucking two words as long as there's not a black person around, when a black person comes around, you know, they're, they, just, they, they still act a little country, but, you know, they never really show, show the true side of themselves, because, you know, you know, we, we don't need to tell them that we think less of them, but we just, you know, speak about them in a, you know, lesser manner amongst themselves. Not sure how good that accent was, but I, I just, it, it never got me how people could believe such hypocritical crap because of the fact that they were just like, you know what, you know, I, I could be more of an, I, I could check this society and see how it works and, you know, see what could be beneficial for our society and see how I can, you know, understand what's going on in my society so I'm more, so I'm more of a positive part of this society. But instead they're just like, oh. Uh, you know what? We have a black president. Country is messed up. I want my country back. I want my country back. 
Like, when your country ever get taken from you? I mean, seriously, this has been your country for the last 20 years. You know, the whole poor people getting screwed over and the whole fucking Wall Street, the real estate market. That's your country. This is still your country. The only thing that's changed is your country has a different, you know, poster person for it. Obama. Obama really hasn't done too much. Bill Maher went hard on Obama yesterday. I was watching that shit like, I can't believe you saying that shit. Like, I was fucking, I was cracking up on that shit. But, uh, I don't know. As long as people, where is it going to go with this? As long as people think the Fox News is on their side, we're screwed. I mean, it was I mean, because of the fact that it's just fear 24-7, you know, it's just like, scare the person, scare them, scare them. And they're going to be scared to change to another channel because if they change to another channel, oh my god, I think I missed some fear, you know? It's sad and it's scary. The booga booga. <coughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? And you know what's kind of weird? And it's a little creepy to me. I, I, had, a, I had a bigger channel. I deleted it because I, I was on some other shit. I just got bored, so I'm making videos again on this, like, really small channel. But I realized there's, like, two people that actually watch my videos. And that's kind of weird. I need more people to watch my videos, I think. No, 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 really. I don't really have anything to say. At least nothing that important. Besides the obvious. Which is presented pretty well by you. But then again, we also have just way too many crazy fucked up laws and the people who obey the laws just because of the fact you know they don't really do anything they just sit around like you know at least I ain't naked you know so on and so forth those people will always be comfortable with no matter pretty much whatever the government does as long as it doesn't involve black people or I want to say there's a lot of racist people out there but um, there's a lot of racist people out there I mean 60% of the people 60% of white people voted for Palin and McCain and if you thought Palin and McCain's ticket was better than Obama and Biden's ticket, Jesus Christ. Biden had a better, if Biden was just running as a vice president, Biden had a better ticket than Sarah and fucking McCain. But we were just like, yeah, fuck yeah, man. Let's do it like this or that. This ticket, that ticket. Yo, know, oh, fuck, there's a black person running for president? Yes, we might have a chance of winning. Nah, we need to go all out for the white vote. Doesn't make sense. <clears throat> I guarantee you, if Michael Still ran with anybody, and there's two white people on the Democratic side, I'd vote for definitely the people on the Democratic side. If it was equivalent to Obama and uh, Obama versus McCain, I would definitely vote against Michael Still. Tough, but uh. I don't know. People are dumb. What? <laughs> like when they said, you know, it, it got cold today. There's no such thing as global warming. Really? I don't know. People watch some other stuff, but if Keith Olbermann's gone, and then there's no real news besides Rachel Maddow. I mean, seriously. If Rachel Maddow and Keith Olbermann both dropped off of MSNBC, I don't even think the channel would exist. Like, I wouldn't even go there. I mean, Ed's all right. Dylan Radigan's okay. That one dude from YouTube's on there every now and again. But still, like, if Keith Overman and Rachel Maddow both were not on MSNBC, you pretty much killed the channel. No one really had, like, Rachel Maddow got back. Like, she's got back on, like, no other. She'd be saying some loud, real shit. But too many people were just like, oh, fear, fear, fear. Fox News is just great. When they come out with these snappy little phrases, like I said, you know, like death panels, Obamacare. So they can talk amongst each other about death panels and Obamacare. Like, okay, you know, it's health care, and there's a lot more to it than Obamacare. But fuck it, you know, call it Obamacare and just talk to everybody. Like, Obamacare is trying to kill my grandma. Right, right. You know what? And Obama with his Nazi FEMA camps, you know, all that other stuff. That stuff that's just common knowledge, right? People are retarded. So, Fox News viewers, be happy being a person in the retarded class that looks up to the kid that just doesn't really try to be in any higher class and act like that he's actually doing you a service. Actually, that's a bad example, bad analogy for that. But still, Fox News viewers, if you actually believe what they're saying, you're the, not retarded, you're the special egg, and I don't want to, you know, they are gay people with mental handicaps, but 
Fox News is a station with a huge mental handicap, and people who watch it just make their